What's up guys, it's your boy Big Bro Dre and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, well welcome. If you've been here before and you a long time subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate it, alright? This video is five things you should never do at Warren Officer Candidates. <laughs> things you should never do at Warren Officer Candidate School. These are solely my opinions, as I always say, but they helped me while I was there, so I hope that it'll help you, all right? So, number five is no profanity, all right? Please, you will not use profanity in Warren Officer Candidate School, okay? I, no matter how hard it hurts you to want to curse and, and say bad, mean things to people, refrain from using profanity, and I'm going to tell you why. So, when I went to Warren Officer Candidate School, one of the rules that's, that they put in your book that they give you to read, and I'll go into what type of book they give you in another video, but one of the rules was that you can't use profanity, all right? So the first day we got there, one of my classmates dropped the F-bomb while we were doing push-ups, all right? They gave this guy 25, uh, what they call demerits, which is 25 negative points towards your score. You get a certain amount of points and you get kicked out of the course. 25 is like a quarter of the points that you can get. So he was on a thin line the first day all because he dropped the F-bomb. So what I would suggest to you guys is if you plan on going to Warren Officer Candidate School, try to ease up on your profanity. Now, I, I know you're using it. We in the Army, a lot of people a lot of people use profanity. It's it's not, it's it's, it's a normal thing to, uh, to a lot of people. It's unprofessional as a mug, but it's normal to military people. They use profanity amongst each other. So. I would suggest that you stop using it and you, you challenge yourself to not use profanity at all in order so you can get used to not, not talking like that, all right? So the number five thing again is to not ever, ever, ever use profanity while you're at Warren Officer Candidate School, all right? All right, guys, the number four thing is to not lie to your tag officers or any of your classmates while you're in Warren Officer Candidate School. All right, so lying is bad. You shouldn't lie because the truth is eventually gonna come out one way or another. That's just how life works. That That's a pro tip. That ain't even like army stuff. That's just regular life stuff. But with that said, I'm gonna give you an example of how lying could get you in trouble at Warren Officer Kennedy School. So, we had, I had a situation where, it wasn't, it wasn't me, but we had a situation where, uh, so you can't sit on the beds during the daytime because that's a violation of whatever rule was in the, the book we had, right? So uh, one of the young ladies that was in my class, she sat on the bed and uh, one of the classmates had caught her. So they told on her, well, apparently she, she did it often. So when the tech asked her about it, she, she lied. She said she had never sat on the bed. She didn't do it well. So the next day, the young lady, they came in down the hallway. The next day, the young lady laid on the bed and, and fell asleep or whatever. So not only did they, did they give her the demerits for falling asleep, they put her on probation and almost kicked out of the course for that. So I say that to say this. I think if she wouldn't have lied the first time, she probably wouldn't have had as much trouble because she could have told them, hey, I, I get tired, I have like sleeping at. And they probably would have cut her a little bit more slack. But I think what got her in trouble was the lie. Not to mention, one more thing, if you caught in a lie in one officer candidate school, that's that's considered an integrity violation, and that'll get you kicked out the course. So like, that's an automatic termination depending on what the lie was and who, and who told it, or, or who found out about it. So the number four thing to, to, to never do at one officer candidate school is to tell a lie. It's just easier to tell the truth, all right? All right, guys, number three thing to not ever, ever do at Warren Officer Candidate School, do not eat the crap. So, listen, when you go into the dining facility at Warren Officer Candidate School, there's going to be a whole lot of people in there, and you're going to eat, and, and they're going to have a whole lot of different choices for food. You're going to have your healthy stuff. They're going to have it labeled in green, yellow, and red to let you know What's healthy? Obviously, green is the healthiest. Yellow is kind of in the middle, moderately healthy. And red is the stuff you ain't supposed to have. I would suggest that you don't mess with the red. Number one, I will tell you, and this, this can go for basic training too for you basic training guys. 
when you eat the green stuff, the attack officers and the drill sergeants gonna look at you different, right? <laughs> that and that don't even matter. Like how they look at you doesn't matter because there's so many of you they might not even remember you. But if that one time you stuff in your face with cakes and sodas and stuff, and then you go out here and you struggling, you falling out of runs, they gonna call you late. They, they gonna think you lazy. It's gonna be a perception about you. That's the number one. Number two is for a couple weeks, you're going to do PT, but it's going to be on your own. And you know how people feel about doing PT on their own. They, they generally don't do the best they can. So you want to maintain your physical fitness at the highest level for the entire five weeks you're there. You never know when they're going to wake you up at 4 a.m. and be like, hey, let's go run six miles. And, and then you just had like a burger and fries the night before that. So you, you're not prepared for it. So... My number three suggestion, and it worked for me, so it might not work for you if you like to eat crap, then, then do your thing. I'm, I'm not going to judge you. That's your business. But my number three suggestion is do not eat the crap at Warren Officer Candidate School. Stick with the healthy stuff. It'll give you a chance to look lean, and when your family comes see you, you transform or whatever, and you can make a YouTube video about how you transform at Warren Officer Candidate School. All right? So number three, don't eat the crap, man. Got it? All right, guys. Number two thing you should never ever do a warrant officer candidate school or at least try not to so you're going to run you're going to run often probably every day right so when you're running do everything you can to not fall out if you give it everything you got unless you have a heart attack or a seizure and you can foaming at the mouth don't stop running just keep running it'll be over soon all right so running, falling out of runs will get you kicked out of one officer candidate school. I, that's the bottom line. If they feel like you're not trying and you're not putting forth the effort that everybody else is putting forth, they're going to kick you out. And I forgot what the exact term was that they kick you out under, but they, 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 they have the ability to kick you out for falling out. I've never been to any school where that was a thing. Yet. And I went to all three NCO schools uh, except for a master leaders course. I went to uh, BLC, which used to be uh, PLDC. I went to ALC, and I went to um, SLC, and I've never seen anybody get kicked out of a course for falling out of a run. I saw two that happened to two people when I was in one officer candidate school. So, number two, whatever you do, do everything you can not to fall out, no runs. Just, just run, man. It'll be over soon. You, it's not going to take that long. You'll be done, all right? Kapo all right, guys, and my number one and my favorite one, all right? is don't quit. So a warrant officer candidate school, they have a they have a term, it's called re, uh, ringing the bell. And there are only two times where you ring the bell. It's when you complete warrant officer candidate school and when you quit warrant officer candidate school. So you wanna ring that bell when you're done and you completed and your family's here taking pictures of you. You don't wanna be the what if guy that quit in the middle because you hated it or what have you. And I'm gonna give you an example right now of somebody who quit. So. In my class, that was a guy. He was a sergeant major. And I would say the second day we did some PT, it was, it was pretty tough. It was tough. I, I wanted to quit a couple times, but you can't. You just ain't going to quit. Well, this gentleman decided that, you know what? It's not worth it. I quit. I hate this, and I'm not, I can't do it no more. I understand his reasons for doing it, but what I'll tell you is it's better to just hang on in there. If this is something you've been looking at doing your entire career or at least for a few years, why would you quit for, for five or ten minutes of pain? Just get through it, it, make it happen, and it'll be the best decision you ever made in the military. I can tell you right now, switching over to be a warrant officer, even though I love my years in, as a NCO, is the best decision that I have ever made as, as a soldier. So... The number one uh, thing you should never ever do at Warren Officer Candidate School is quit. Because nobody likes a quitter. All right? Bottom line. All right, guys. So I appreciate you guys coming to my channel. Uh, if this is your first time, again, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.